On this episode of Hidden Heights Farm, we go from drought to a little bit of flooding, but we're not gonna gripe. I'm gonna come out here and enjoy it. We are finally being blessed with rain. Lots and lots of prayers are being answered. And this isn't the first time we've got rain. We've actually had rain now for three days in a row and we'll take it. So I'm gonna show you guys, we got a little project to do today. And uh, of all days, of course, we're gonna do it in the rain. But like I said, we're not gonna gripe, but look at this. We've got rain everywhere. It's just saturating the ground. It's going everywhere. The baby chicks are underneath here, chilling out. They haven't got to see a lot of rain in their life, so we're gonna take it. And uh, hopefully the ponds will start filling up a little more and the grass will get a little more greener. So I'm about to show you something in the shop, but we gotta be quiet because it might be sleeping. Uh-oh, no, I hear them already. Billy, what you know, girl? We got, we got Millie and we got a male goose. We got a Cayuga Drake and a hen. And then in here, we got a gold lace wine dot and a Polish rooster. And um, if you guys remember, it is almost fair time. And that is where the kids will show the chickens in the fair this year. Um, I think Kai is only going to be the one showing chickens this year. I don't think Kayla wanted to do it. So what we got to do is today we're about a month out from the show, but we got to load up these all the poultry here that we're going to show in the fair. We actually have to take them over to the fair and the board that puts on the poultry show. They actually have to do a blood test for some certain things to make sure you're not bringing any of the infected poultry in to the exhibit that could spread to the other ones. So we're going to load them up today and um, trying to wait for this rain to die down because we got to haul them in the back of the truck, which the chickens are covered. They're not going to get wet. The ducks and the geese are going to get a little wet. I don't think they're going to mind because they're waterfowl anyways. Is that right, Millie? I'll get y'all some uh, more food and water so we hit the road, okay? But anyways, that's what we're doing today. Um, we're just going to enjoy the rain while we can get it. And uh, we better go check on the... Uh, Let's go check on the broiler chickens real quick. I know Kaya's dying to come out here and check on them herself, but with the lightning and everything, I told her I'd just do it. And we do have the heat lamp on for them. So if they do get wet, they should be able to get right in there and dry off underneath that heat lamp. We have had them for just a little bit over a week now. So we've had them for over a week now. So they're starting to get their feathers. They're all nice and dry. They got a dry spot over there. We got their food, water. All right. So they're growing fast. Like I said, if you guys have never raised these broiler meat chickens, it is insane how fast a living creature like that can grow in a short amount of time so while well, we're out here and i'm already soaked let's walk out here and uh check on the uh emus and the other geese their leader is not with them right now millie and i'm trying to uh navigate my yard here you can see we got some puddles this is a good thing the ducks and the geese absolutely love this because they just swim all throughout the pasture they can swim through the yard like it's nothing. Yoshi! Yawning! Come here guys. You guys are some of the coolest farm animals we've ever had because they absolutely do not care if it's raining. They love the water. And I guess these chickens do too. They're learning from the emus. Hello Yawning. What do you think of this rain? Huh? Yeah, has it rained much since you guys have been here? Oh, look. They found... I'm going to have a hard time focusing in this rain. My camera's getting all wet. Now that is what you call fun day at the farm. <laughs> you see the ducks over there on the right? That is uh, funny. So, days like this, when you see things like that, you see your animals enjoying it. It's probably pitiful to the goats that, you know, they're sitting there in the barn, but... The other duck, the other animals like the geese and the ducks, 
Look, there goes Yoshi and Yoneg. They're running now. The waterfowl absolutely love it. They're made for it. So, gonna got to give and take these chickens and uh, the young turkeys. I don't know what they're doing. They're just out here wandering around in the rain like it ain't nothing. Y'all better go take cover. So anyways, guys, we're gonna get those chickens over there. I don't know if we'll be able to record any or not. We'll see, but uh, we'll see you soon. Smeagol, where are you going? I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's chasing those birds. Oh, there goes Skeeter. You guys ain't catching no wild birds. All right, guys up there watering her meat broiler chickens. We just got home with the poultry and I was gonna try to film a little bit of the process of them doing it, but the way they do it, um, for certain things on there, I don't know. YouTube wouldn't like very well. Anyways, you can see how messy my truck is now. And probably what we should have did is load all these crates and cages up in the stock trailer. And then I wouldn't have had all this stuff all in my truck, but there ain't nothing I can't wash out, I guess. Millie, are you glad to be home? Yeah, she's ready to get out. Yeah, the chickens are too. So I'm gonna back my truck up to the gate, make it a little easier, and then we'll release the Kraken. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. <laughs> I guess the geese went out first. How about that? You guys are hidden. Here, I'll get one side. You get the other side. I'm just going to open it and grab them. Why don't you just set them in there and let them out? It's too easy. Just close it. Hey, close this. Peter, quit, babe. You're free. Next one. That's Millie. Millie. Peter. You're not helping. She wanted to hop a little bit. Boy, I got some uh, sharp claws. One just scratched me right here. Really you sharp. Let it focus. Okay. Really sharp. Chickens. This will be easy. You don't have to use the gate. <laughs> So one of the chickens we chose was this gold lace twine dot here. What's her name? Kaya? The Gucci. Gucci? And then Boris. Come here, Boris. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. You got a new bracelet. Boris has a new bracelet on. <laughs> What'd you think of the car ride? Hey, no. All right, there's Boris. Now the ducks. They're back here. I'll just uh, carry the cage over there for the ducks. Your emus are crazy. Yeah. Look how nosy these goats are. All right, you guys ready? All right, here you go. Look at the goats. Oh, is that food in there? Looks like food. Get out of the way, guys. Stop being so nosy. There. You guys got fresh puddles to get in. Straight to the mud puddle. Look. What do they think? <laughs> they said, oh, relief. <laughs> We're home. Oh, and now it's starting to rain again. What a wonderful sight. I'm not for you. You didn't like it. So Rachel just asked Kai, I don't know if you guys can hear because now it's starting to pour down, what she thought of the testing they had to do. So we couldn't really show it on video. I see the goats over here are running. They're running back to the barn because it's starting to pour. Look at this. I just missed all these too. <laughs> Yep, we better get inside before it starts lightning. But they have to do a uh, blood test, and I'm not going to talk about it too much, but you know, they have to get what they need and put it on a test, and that determines if they have a disease or any kind of... Uh, it's well, required for showing yeah. poultry at our fair. And it's... It's the first time Kaya had actually witnessed it. Last year we did it, and the kids were at school. Yeah, so she got a little bit upset because she didn't <laughs> expect that, but... Now, now we know, right? It didn't hurt them, though. 
Okay. Just, just a little test. Just, just a little prick. Briefly. <laughs> and uh, now the emus are acting up again, acting weird. They were. They were over there dancing. They're they're yeah. rain dancing. Everybody's heading to the uh, barn. So, anyways, um, I'm not gonna film anymore to right now. We'll probably come out out later, and uh, we'll film later this afternoon. See how much rain we get. But I already dried the camera off once, so I'm gonna go put it up now. And we'll come back uh, this afternoon when we feed or something and continue the video. It's really starting to come down. All right. So now that that's over, it's time to do the cleanup. So it's time to feed. And you can see how messy these ducks and geese are. They got these shaving balls on the shop floor. So, if you guys seen the video where we made this mix the other day, it's still working out really good. We've been feeding it to all our uh, feathered friends, and it's friendly for everybody on the farm. You can see how big the chicks are getting now. They are getting huge. And then the turkeys, they're growing quite well. Let me get another scoop. Skeeter, I know, buddy. I gotta uh, sweep all this out here in a little bit. We're gonna do our feeding first though. We'll kind of spread this out a little more. There you go. Look at these goats, they see me. I'm coming guys, I promise. Give me some, give me some time here. Alright, so we're going to feed these uh, broiler meat chickens first. This is actually Kaya's chore. She's actually in the house helping her mom cook dinner. And uh, she's already taking a shower, so I told her don't worry about it. I'll take care of them uh, this time. She's been uh, taking great responsibility, coming out here multiple times a day. Checking their water, giving them food, turning on, unplugging their heat lamp. She's done very well. And I'm sitting here talking. Look at this. Look what I found out here. If you guys can see him or not, that's a Smeagol. Sitting there by the fence, he's over there hunting. They don't tell him what he'll come up with. Probably a rabbit or something. You know, meat chickens, you guys have probably quadrupled in size already. How about that? Golly, they are, they are giant. They're definitely gonna fill up a freezer if they all make it, you know, even to six weeks old. And by butchering time, they are gonna be some big birds. I can't wait to see how they do at the uh, county fair. They're, they're looking great right now. So, one thing I've noticed is um, a lot of people that raise these broiler chickens, we've only raised them a few times. And um, the way we did it last time worked great and we left them full feed 100% of the time and a lot of people will say that they do 12 hours on feed and then they take their feed away for 12 hours And I'm not really quite sure but uh, a lot of people swear by that. It's just not a uh, method I have ever tried But maybe one day we'll try that but for now We're just giving them feed as much as they want to eat all day long for the length of their life They're gonna have their bellies full for sure. So let me get their feed filled up and then we'll go uh, take care of all these noisy animals over there I hear someone breathing behind me who is it hey you snuck up on me mo what are you doing brother huh what are you doing brother what are you doing you ready for your dinner he said yeah I smelled them eggs and that dog kibble in your wagon over there I thought I'd come see if you needed any help you ready to eat let me feed these chickens and we'll go feed you okay you say hi to the camera say hi YouTube everybody on here loves you Say hi. You shy? Mm, you gonna be shy today? No, he's a good boy. What do you think of these chickens, huh? You got a lot of extra work now with all these extra animals we keep bringing to the farm, huh? <laughs> now you're just showing off. What are you doing? You only usually do that after you eat your dinner out in the field. You just showing off for the uh, camera? Huh? You showing off for the camera? You ready to eat? Smoky is. Alright, let's go feed everybody. So as you can see, Black Betty still has the five children. 
Still don't know what happened to the sixth one, but she's got five. They're growing up good. They're a little smaller breed than the other chicks I just showed you over by the shop, so they're not quite as big, but they're still growing pretty good. All right, Millie's still mad because we took her to town earlier. She don't like going to town. So let me get everybody fed real quick. We'll do some uh, interviews with them. Put some over here for the chicks so they don't get trampled. Right, let's do this. Let's do this. Excuse me. Shadow, that's very rude, girl. Alright, try to stop. Shadow's the one that's always jumping on the buckets every time. Oh boy. How am I gonna do this? Alright, I gotta put you guys down for a minute and dump this water out of their trough real quick. Hold on. I think I can do it with you guys. I gotta put something down. Let's put the feed bucket down for a second. Okay. I don't think they can get it up there. Excuse me, coming through. Hey, ghost. Alright, guys, I gotta dump your uh, troughs because you guys got water all in it. I don't even have food in my hands, guys. I can't even walk two feet. Look at this. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Alright, let's do this. There we go. Dump all the water out. Make sure I don't crush nobody. Then we'll do this one. Excuse me, Shadow. There we go. That's the only bad thing about these feed troughs is they hold the water. And a lot of people has asked why we don't drill holes in there. And once you drill holes in this little thin metal like this, it will just rust out and then you'll have a huge hole and then it'll just be trash. But these have lasted many years like they are, even the way they hold water. But if you drill a hole in there, it seems like they just go a lot faster. All right, well there's Boris. I guess he's not too upset anymore. He's glad to be back on the farm. Yoshi, you ready to eat? All right, let's try this again, guys. Coming through. Excuse us. Excuse me. You guys make it very difficult to see. Okay. Now let's get the birds. Yoshi and Yoshi and Yoneg saying, uh, hurry up. Mojo, where'd you go? Did you already come in here? Mo! I don't know where he went. He was ready to eat. Now I lost him. Here you go. Here you go, yo. Food for everybody. Come and get it. Only bad thing about this food is it's really dusty. Okay. That takes care of everybody. Now we gotta get Mojo back over here. Mojo! Come on! Mojo! Probably gonna have to have his mom come through. Oh, here comes the big man. Come on, buddy. I got you a bunch of eggs. And I even got you some pretty ones. Look at these eggs. I want to show you guys the color. Hold on. Come on, Mo. Look at these. Those are some pretty eggs from the Americanas. These two on the bottom. And this one here, this green olive color egg is a mixed breed Americana, I guess. You like eggs too? Come on. Come on, Mo. Come on, man. He's like, oh, are you tricking me again? You got my food. 
Come on, Mo. Let's go eat, buddy. Let's go eat. We finally got some rain. Everybody feels good. The temperatures got knocked down to the 80s. Can't wait to beat it. All right. He said, okay. Can't really wait. I'm gonna lick my lips. All right. You want four eggs this time? Hey, that's not very nice. Get out of here. Hey. Shh, 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 shh. Go eat your bird food. Come here. Come on. Quiet. Come on, you're going to have to get in here and eat. If not, here's the pretty egg. You like this one? He said, yep, put it in there. All right, there you go. Eat it before Yoshi eats it all. So you look, watch. He's going to... Mo will actually snap at him because he don't like him getting in his food. All right, so let's let him be. Gotta go check all the waters, which I'm pretty sure they're gonna be pretty full because we got a lot of rain. That's a good thing. Look at that chicken run off with that egg. She's like, this is such a pretty egg. I'm just gonna take it over here and eat it. <laughs> so a lot of people will tell you that's a bad thing when the chickens do that. But we purposely recycle the eggshells and either put it in the compost, it goes in the garden, or we feed it straight back to the chickens. And the reason we feed it to the chickens is it provides them with calcium, which keeps their eggs nice and healthy and strong. So that way when you reach in the egg box and you grab that egg, they don't just squash in your hand because a chicken that is uh, deficient in calcium or they don't get enough calcium in their diet, they will actually have very, very thin um, shelled eggs and they bust really easy and uh, you don't want that so we either get the oyster shell which doing it this way it's free look you got another chicken that just got a piece that's uh, the wine dot that we're gonna take to the show she's got her leg band on now as you can see you guys seen her earlier and Betty and her kids are going off but yeah given the chickens eggshells is it's good for their diet and nutrition the only bad thing it does is a lot of people say or think that it can teach the chickens to just go after the eggs that are still intact the good full eggs in the nest boxes and stuff and just start pecking them but we haven't had any problem with that usually they lay their eggs in the nest boxes and then they get out and even the chickens that lay their eggs on the ground i don't think we have a chicken right now that will just go up to an egg and start pecking it and eating it they only like the empty shells so i was going to show you guys these puddles were, were full earlier and you guys seen the ducks they were going to town in it but now they're pretty much gone so everybody's just enjoying their dinner and the nice cool temperatures it's like a 20 degree um change below what we've had for like the past month so it's got to feel good for everybody so um if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing stay tuned on the story of the meat chickens i want to try to update you guys every video or so and uh, show you how fast they're growing the progression and uh we'll see how they turn out at fair time i'm i'm thinking we'll do pretty good with them or kaya will we'll see and uh like this video leave us a comment and we'll see you next time